It's day six. There's the truck right there, 10 metres. Fireplace about seven metres. I've milked that spot down there dry, I'm sure. I've got six the first day, seven the second day, eight the third day, then only two on the fourth day, but one was that night nice ten and grammar. Three yesterday. So she's thinning out down in there. So I've just wandered up 50 feet and uh, followed a bit of a murmur that's turned into... Tree roots here, virgin ground. Just getting into the wash now. That doesn't sound too bad. I'm right down here in this corner. Out this time and uh, bust the hole right open and might have to go down through the stone again. I 
I got all day. And it ain't going nowhere. Yeah. That's rock. I've hit now. Oh my god, listen to that noise. Clearly there's a target there, but it is just concrete. It's like digging through two foot of concrete. And I'm only down about two and a half inches now. So I'll just keep chiseling away at it. And uh, sooner or later, might take a couple of days, you never know. I'm using the wrong gear, I need bigger, bigger tools. Much bigger chisel, much bigger hammer and smash that apart. So I'll just keep slowly persevering with my blunt chisel and uh, sooner or later because I'm definitely getting this piece out. Final progress report, it's out. I haven't turned the machine on because I've already found it. They just like yesterday's one down the reef, when you're digging in rock they just seem to come out clean and you'll probably see it right there. So it's a beauty, I thought it would be. It's a big piece of gold that. I haven't weighed it yet of course, and yes you can see I've hit it right near the tip of my thumb there with the chisel, which I kind of knew I'd do. The back of it's fine, and I have just nicked it there. It's an absolute beautiful big piece of gold. I'm very happy with that so close to camp I don't even have to pack a lunch. Ah, that's a thumper, eh? <laughs>